It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking compound inequalities, where we're going to write an inequality to represent this graph, understanding closed and open circles. We're asked to write an inequality to represent this graph below. We're going to start from the left and work to the right. So I see I have this closed or shaded in circle above negative 2. Closed circles on an inequality represent less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. I can see that it's closed and it's shaded to the right. So we're going to start with x representing all the values in our solution set. And I know that it can be equal to negative 2 and anything greater. So I'm going to say greater than or equal to negative 2. Now I have an open circle. So I'm going to understand that an open circle represents less than or greater than, but not equal to. So it's going to be not 3, but values less than 3. So x, any value in my solution set, must be less than 3. But I have to also understand that when I point this arrow out, I cannot have values that are less than negative 2 or greater than 3. They're not in my shaded area on my graph. So I need to put in here that it has to make both of these inequalities true. We need the word and. It must be greater than or equal to negative 2, and it must be less than 3 to be part of the solution set. Now there's one other way we could write this compound inequality. We can flip the symbol and the variable. So x is greater than or equal to negative 2 when you read it backwards. So negative 2 must be less than or equal to x, and x must be less than or equal to 3 is another way to write an and inequality. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.